what's going on everybody today i wanted to try something because i've always been curious if i can charge my lipo batteries on the go with my jackery explorer 300 i've just uh sometimes you might want to need to charge out in the field i know they make specific products for that but i have one of these already so i just figured i'd try it it is 100 percent charged and this thing has been sitting for i don't even know how long without being used and it's just held that 100 percent like i didn't top it off or anything like that but anyway i've got spectrum s2100 smart charger um, spectrum smart 3s 5000 and we're just gonna see if we can charge it i don't know if this will do it or not but we're definitely powering up here no battery detected which makes sense because there's no battery plugged in so we'll do plug this in plug in the balance lead and then I don't know are you guys seeing that so what I want to do is press and hold go up we're gonna charge a lipo it is 3s it knows it's a 5000 so it's gonna charge at 5 amps charge to 4.2 volts smart battery settings auto storage after 72 hours and that's what I really like about those spectrum batteries is that auto storage it kind of takes the I don't know if it's risk or what it is, but it kind of takes that out of the equation for, you know, if you don't use it or whatever. It's just, it's just a, it takes care of a step for you. And I like that. So anyway, charge LiPo 3S 5 amps. Start. And what's this thing? Pulling. I mean, that thing's only pulling 9 watts. Oh, there it went to 21 watts. 36 watts. 60 watts. Can you guys even see that? It says it's at 45%. Pulling 67 watts. We're gonna see. I mean, it should it should do it. It's four charge rate of 4.9 amps right now. So this is a 300. So it's like 290 six or 298 watts or something so at if it pulled 50 watts i would be able to get six hours out of it which it'll charge a battery in six hours i would i would think this thing says the charge time remaining is 40 minutes but it it calculates that as it goes. I don't think it'll even take 40 minutes, so. I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. Just dropped my first percent on the Jackery. Wonder if I can kinda. that 
that up somehow. We can kind of get it all, get it all happening. Somewhat. any of that's even visible to you guys. But down to 98%, still pulling 67 watts. 54% on the charge. It's guessing 33 minutes, which is going a lot faster charging at 5 amps. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. So you can tell here that the wattage is dropping off, that the charger's pulling. And then we're at 99% in less than 5 minutes, so I'm guessing it's just 1.7 amps. It's just kind of topping off the battery here slowly for the last little bit of the charge. The wattage continues to drop, the amps continue to drop. And we just completed there. So, green bar, charge done. And then if we scroll over, 4.2 volts exactly per cell. So, cool. So, I mean, this definitely will charge. It took about 14% of the Jackery's battery to charge one 3S5000 smart battery, which is, I mean, not bad. How much, how many batteries are you going to need to charge in a given time out, out and about, you know what I'm saying? So cool. That 100% works and that that's awesome. Um, that's going to pretty much do it for this one. Uh, hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. Um, this Jackery 300 is a great option. Um, let me know in the comments. I've got enough ports here where I could run my Spectrum charger, my Traxxas charger, and then some USB chargers for like small 118th scale LiPos, smaller USB A LiPo chargers. And we could max this thing out and see what it does. And then I also have a solar panel that charges this. So we could plug the solar panel in so this thing's getting power while it tries to charge my biggest Traxxas battery, my biggest Spectrum battery, and some small batteries. We'll just try to max this thing out and see how it handles that workload. But... That's going to do it for this one. The Jackery will definitely charge your batteries out in the field. Uh, super lightweight, small, portable option. Uh, very cool. So thanks. See you next time.